Hey, this is Brett from GFB. In this video, we're going to install a DV Plus on this Audi S3. Now, this is an 8V model, uh, same as the Mark 7 Golf R. This is the new DV Plus we've designed for it, part number T9359. Now, the difference with this one is, uh, unlike the A3 and the uh, Mark 7 GTI, the clearance between the diverter valve and the pipe here is a lot smaller than it is on the uh, the models with the KO3 turbo. So what we've done with the DV Plus with this particular model is we've put the solenoid at right angles to the valve body itself. So what it does is sits the solenoid valve upright and gives us the clearance we need to this intake pipe down here. So starting off, I'm going to remove the engine cover which is pretty straightforward, just pop it off the rubber grommets. Now all we have to do is uh, pull the intake pipe off this plastic turbo intake tube and then we can get at the, the bolts holding the uh, diverter valve on there. You can get the valve off without taking this pipe off but I think it's just a lot easier and for the sake of a hose clamp it gives you a bit more room to work. So we can unclip the uh, connector here Pull a little tab and slide the connector off and tuck that out of the way. Now to take this turbo intake pipe off, what you need to do is take this screw out here. This one needs a uh, T30 Torx and then the uh, the intake pipe will rotate out. It's, it's kind of like a bayonet fitting. You don't actually need to take that screw right out but if it does come loose be really careful not to drop it. Anything you, any screws you lose down here are pretty much a one-way ticket. So with that screw out you can rotate the intake pipe back. That gives you enough room to unclip the, um, the breather pipe. Let's go take that out and I'll put that aside. So now we can get at the screws holding the factory diverter on. Again, take care not to drop these. There's the factory diverter valve. Now this is the uh, the revision C that you'll find in these late model uh, Audi and VWs. Um, we're going to keep the solenoid coil, of course, but the um, the, uh, the valve internals simply pull apart. All we have to do is pull the piston out. Take that spring out, we do not use that when putting the DV Plus on. Now this section here, this just pops out, it can be a little bit stiff sometimes, but it's easiest if you put your thumb in there and then pull it across, it pops out like that. Take that out, get rid of that seal, we keep the yellow o-ring, I'm just going to put that aside for now until we get the, valve, the DV Plus valve body on. So that's the DV Plus valve body, it comes with the main spring, piston, the o-ring's already installed on here so you just need to go and put that straight back in place of the factory diverter valve. You can use the same screws or the screws included in the kit, it doesn't matter, they're the same size. Now you must put the valve body on first before you mount the solenoid onto the DV+. Plus can't access this screw once the solenoid's on. So again, take care not to drop these screws. There's the DV Plus body installed. It's got the piston and the spring in. What we need to do now, get your factory solenoid, now usually this o-ring's loose, so you're going to have to put it on there first. So just sit that on the rim, that'll stay there fine. Now you use the, D, uh, the GFB supplied spring in the solenoid. You can tell the difference because it's a little bit shorter. It is actually stiffer, it's got thicker wire than the stock spring. So it's important to use that. Slide the plunger in. And this whole assembly, use a finger to hold the plunger. As you put the, the solenoid onto the body. 
Now it can only go in one way, so the connector's going to face this way. There's a little uh, locating dowel down there. And then we'll use the screws that we supply. Now we're going to put this intake pipe back in. We'll get that out of the way so we can see what's going on. So you've got to start with the uh, the intake pipe rotated back towards the firewall so you can get that lower uh, bayonet style fitting in there. And push it in and then rotate back towards the engine. Looks like I haven't got that in properly yet. Okay, push that in a bit further, there we go. If it doesn't go in the first time, just uh, rotate it back out and then push it harder into the turbo so you uh, engage the three um, dog parts that pull it into the turbo. Clip that back on. Put the electrical connector back on. And the intake hose, tighten up the clamp and then the uh, engine cover goes on and the job's done. And there you have it, 